I was doing uh, Georgia Girl on the Academy Awards with Mitzi Gaynor, and we didn't know each other, and he was nominated that year. And once we became close friends, we went back in time, and I said, I knew you before I knew you. I fell in love with him in Barnum and didn't meet him till many years later. And I saw the beginnings of this show when it was in workshop up at the O'Neill. So I'm really excited about seeing it. He's a sine qua non, non pareil, all those kinds of words. Yeah, impressive, he, he's right? A, one of the most talented people on the planet and also one of the nicest people you will ever Absolutely. meet. Ever meet. And my most fond memory of him is taking my children when they were in first grade and in third grade across Europe and he kept them company with his Harry Potter books. And that every every place we traveled, we put him on their little C D players as I'm dating myself. And then when my girls finally met him, he sat and regaled them with all his Harry Potter for hours one night. So that's my Jim Dale story. Um, my only one is that I grew up with the Barnum cast album, so I'm very excited to hear him sing songs from Barnum. I hope he's doing that. I hope you're doing that, Jim. I'm very excited. <laughs>